There's many different compost piles that you can have all year round. Yes, all year round. Yes, in the late fall and winter, it will slowly be much slower than it will in the warmth of the summer and spring. We're doing compost piles on certain areas of our garden, as well as we have other compost piles that we've done just with old baby crib materials. Throughout the summer, we would pile on leaves and grass and other material that we got from the garden. Now with these here, they're not gonna break down as quickly because they're more carbon brown material than nitrogen green material. But we're gonna assist these a little bit and because it's gonna be like 13 and 14 degrees and who knows how cold below zero at certain points of the winter, these will decrease by about 50%. But we're gonna add what materials we currently have because we guess we need to use them up. And we've got a bunch of pears that we've used and processed from juicing and making other pear dishes, as well as the ones that have fell from the tree and smashed on the ground that are no longer edible. Local coffee shop, coffee grounds are nitrogen based. That will help in a sense heat the bed up. And come the spring, whenever this bed and other beds that we have, it's time to work them in. We'll work We'll remove a lot of this, put in a separate pile, and then bring in what we need to and work it in the soil so we always have a constant pile of breaking down compost. Now, I'm not gonna mix them in. I'm gonna bring more leaves in and cover this up. All right, we mulch these with our leaf vacuum. You can also use your lawnmower. If you don't have enough leaves, you can always go to the street and vacuum out of the curve like we did as well, because we can never find, well, we've got plenty of leaves, but we always want more. So all I'm gonna do is cover this up here and then we'll just let her sit over the winter and come back in the spring. This will go down about 50% and then we will make the appropriate decisions on where to pile all this out and then start working the beds for spring. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.